Well, everybody's feeling it right now for NU. Yep, because they have a nine-point advantage. And they are inching closer to another trip to the men's volleyball finals. Alam mo, Noreen, na-execute nila yung kanilang game plan. Um, Sinabi ni Bea sa kanyang reports, first set pa lang, they want to try to stop Sudaria. Ilan ang puntos ni Sudaria? Anim lang. Yes. Seven there. Oh, seven. <laughs> Pero 19 ang average niya. 19.5. Well, you know, also because nga, di ba, every huddle is the same song. We've been hearing the same song, the reception song, the receive song. Well, di ba, I mean, it really failed them in today's game. So, they're not able to really distribute the ball pretty well. And, you know, give give players like Sudaria a chance to even go, go for the point. But the thing is, hindi ito yung Adamson na ating nakita against yes. USD. This is not the Adamson that we saw against LaSalle, wherein they were so inspired. And you took them out of their game. You said it. You said it. Again, and you really just showing everyone, even their opponent Adamson, that, you know, we are still a level above you guys and you're in a place above you guys and your cloud nine is still no match for our our heaven level <laughs> what what say what <laughs> but uh, let me ask you this and you without race on fuentes how big of a deal is that going to be should they make it to the finals uh, against Ateneo? Well, you know, again, they were able to practice a couple of games. This is the fourth game without Fuentes. So, I'm sure Fuentes is great. The, the loss of Fuentes is a big factor. But then again, people like Baisak and Taliban are stepping up for their team. They can really feel already the return trip to the finals. That was the most relaxed huddle we've seen today. And uh, managing to joke around with Taliban. Oh. Lahat sila, actually. Eh. Taliban is actually just one of two rookies on this NU team. Uh, but si Coach Domingo. Uh, meron na siyang pinapasok ng mga bago players dito. Limpat coming in for the Adamson side. At uh, pati si Vince Mangulab na. Sinab na ni Coach Dante. Tekiko. Coming in. Well, they have still an eight point lead, so they got seven. So, Coach Dante actually trying to experiment here and possibly prevent injuries. Remember, it's yes. si Peter Torres sprained his right ankle late. In <laughs> <laughs> but he wants to enter. Coach, I'm okay. here. Let's end this. Uh, see, Peter Torres sprained his ankle um, late in the match against FEU in the third set. Uh, but he's still coming back into the floor. And they want to finish strong. They want to finish with a bang. Enter the finals with a bang. But obviously not in today's game. When Vince Mangalabdan got Peter Torres going, that really should be their first option. Eh? Because with that, if Peter Torres starts scoring, syempre, mas magiging effective yung mga plays nila if they set it to, let's say, an Inaldito or, or a Tolentino because they will mark Peter Torres, which is what happened in today's game. A thunderous spike right there by Fauzi Ismail. At uh, ramdam na ng NU ang kanilang ikalawang sunod na pagpunta sa finals ng UAAP men's volleyball tournament 22 to 14 that would go straight to the tape of the net but again i mean hats off to to this adamson team 
For the Adamson community, dalawa lang po ang mawawala. Uh, John Maliapre and Kenneth Arante, the backup setter that you saw a while ago. Uh, sila Sudaria, ayan, sila Ramirez, David, mga sophomores pa lang yan. Wow. So, you know, with experience under their belt, they can only move up. And ito uh, si Torres, tinitan pa niya kung saan napunta yung bola na pinalo niya. Home run ba ito? Home run. Uh, Actually, yan yung signature uh, reaction ni Peter Torres. Pag nakakahampas siya ng matindi, tinitignan niya, ayun o, oh, saan ba pumunta? Wow! Saan ba? Saan ba? Court side? Uh, lower box? <laughs> Match point na para sa NU. So Daria, still not giving up. Lumalaban pa rin. Even though he was silenced today, Nowhere near his average of 19.5 points per match. But again, because they're up against defending champion, the number one blocking team in NU. But, uh, you know, no matter what happens, we got to congratulate Adamson and their, their, their pro, obviously their volleyball program for the season. And we look forward to the season ahead in season um, 77. And the, these young players, so Daria is going to be even a more mature player than the rest, like Ramirez. I imagine if they can kumaka dis discover sila na isang player na mataka, that uh, middle spiker, siguro makakatulong yun sa Adamson. Kasi isa nga sa mga bagay na kailangan nila, yung height. Oh, running hit by Torres, unable to finish this match though. He knew it. <laughs> Tolentino trying to close it out, and he does. And NU is going back to the finals of the men's volleyball tournament of the UAAP. That's right. They knew that they were destined to be in the finals, and the process just solidified that destiny. Congratulations once again to Coach Dante Elinsunurin. Second year as the head coach, second straight season in the finals and they will defend that title against the Ateneo Blue Spikers. Yeah, and they have to do it without, again, without Grayson Fuentes. But in, you know, if today's match is uh, any example of what's going to happen, it's a good sign for NU. They defeat the Adamson Soaring Falcons in straight sets. Once again, beating them in the final four just like they did last year to make it to the finals and we will be back to put the finishing touches on this win by the defending champions and new Bulldogs. Once again, National University victorious against Adamson. They make it back to the finals after defeating the Soaring Falcons in straight sets. Yeah, you know, we got to give credit to both Adamson and NU for today's match. Adamson fell short today, although after playing an inspired game against the Sal, but really NU in today's game, they just don't want to extend it any further to any fourth set or try to, you know, risk injury. They just really played a solid game today. NU Bulldogs once again making a return trip to the finals, and our best player of the match is at courtside with Bay of Fabregas. Unang una, Peter, congratulations sa napaka-convincing straight set win na yun. Ngayon, anong nararamdaman mo na sigurado na ang pwesto niyo sa finals ngayon darating na Sabado? Uh, happy po kasi ang dami kami pinagdaan ng hirap na ano sa team namin ngayon. Tsaka pinaghirapan talaga namin makabalik sa finals ngayon. Tsaka yun, yun. Sobrang saya talaga na nakaabot ulit kami ng finals. Sabi mo nga, Peter, kayo ang defending champions dito sa men's volleyball tournament. So anong kailangan na... Kailangan niyo gawin against Ateneo para makuha niyo ang back-to-back -back championship? Uh, kailangan siguro namin pag-aralan pa sila lalo. Tapos mag-focus kami sa block kasi nung nakaraang games, dun kami na, ano, eh, na, na zero sa block namin. So kailangan kami mas mag-focus pa sa block at sa receive namin para manalo kami dun. Ngayon, Peter, may gusto ka bang batiin? Uh, binabati ko po yung family ko, yung Torres family, Esperas family. Tsaka yung mga pamilya po ng, ano, ng mga teammates ko. Talibang family, tsaka yung mga sumusuporta po sa amin, mga taga-NU po, mga classmates, mga prof namin. Tsaka hi po kay Harold Castillo. And maraming salamat po sa mga sumusuporta sa amin lagi. Diyan na po. Thank you so much, Peter. Good luck sa Sabado. There you have it, Anton, your Gatorade Fuel Player of the Game. Oh, I can't wait 
for that matchup and you against Anthony yeah. in the finals this coming Saturday sa Araneta Coliseum. Pero bago yun, hindi pa tayo tapos dito sa arena. Anthony and Lady Eagles will take the floor as they fight for their season as NU has a twice to beat advantage in the stepladder semifinals. Yeah, and uh, we still don't have the finals for the ladies, but uh, again, we were talking about the stepladder, and Ateneo has to beat NU twice, and they will try to start in today's game. We'll stay tuned for that. By the way, happy birthday to Roy Joaquin of the San Juan Arena. Once again, NU makes it back to the finals, defeating Adamson in straight sets. Sangala ni Direct Raul de Ocampo, Bea Fabregas, Kat Salao, at Noringo, at ng lahat ng mga bumubo ng ABS-CBN Sports, ako po ang inyong lingkod, at Don Rojas, nagpapaalam hanggang sa susunod ng laro ng UAP Season 76 Volleyball Tournaments dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. is the UAAP Season 76 Men's Volleyball Tournament. Greatness never ends.